Hey, how you doing? Justin back with you today to talk about why I think you should have your own personalized songbook. Now, there's a few different options for this. The one that I recommend most is getting a display folder, like those little small folders with the clear sheets in it where you can put in pieces of paper. And the idea would be every time that you're learning a song that you really like, you print out a little sheet with the lyrics and the chords above the lyrics, and you pop it in your repertoire book, and that becomes part of the songs that you're gonna practice regularly. I think it's a really important part of the process is having this repertoire, a bunch of songs that you can play confidently, whether you're gonna play just for yourself or family and friends, or you wanna to aspire to do a gig one day or whatever. Having all of your songs collected in the one place is a really, really good idea. Maybe once a week or once a month, you go through and you practice all of those songs up. Uh, if you go to a party or something, you've got your guitar with you. Um, I think the best thing about it, really, is being able to share it with other musicians. So you go to a party, you've got your guitar, you've got your repertoire book, you can grab the book out. If everyone wants to have a sing-along, you've got the lyrics printed out nicely there. If there's another guitar player or a piano player or whatever, another instrumentalist, they can look at it and play along with it as well. You don't have to be scrounging around on your phone trying to find the chords on, uh, you know, some guitar tab website or whatever and then it's really small and difficult to read same with the singing you know everyone can kind of gather around and look at the words because you printed it out nice and neat didn't you you know um there are a couple of things that uh, other options that might be more convenient to your lifestyle for example if you go to a party and you don't have your guitar but there's a guitar there one of the things that I've done myself is I have all of the, the songs that I really like playing saved as pdf files in my dropbox which I can access from my phone now I already said that reading it off the phone's a bit inconvenient, but at least I've got my arrangements of it there, and if somebody else had a, a computer or whatever, I'd be able to email it off to them or look at it on a big screen or even maybe potentially print it out if you wanted to go that far. So I guess my recommendation would be to have a paper version that you carry around with your guitar and potentially save them all as PDF files as well so you've got them as a you know mobile you know on your phone or in a cloud storage or whatever fancy maybe by the time you watch this video there's some other new method of doing it that is more convenient again but the important thing here really is the construction of the repertoire book it there's th something about making a repertoire as well that helps consolidate it almost like printing out the pages or saving them into a folder or whatever seems to make a difference in your mind that you yeah these are my repertoire these are the ones i'm going to remember it's like it frees up a bit of hard drive space somewhere in your mind to help you remember them i'm sure the creation of the the folder has something to do with that i don't um, i don't exactly understand how that works but i've seen it lots of times with students over the years so it's definitely something that i'd recommend that you get into doing one thing i would warn you against is not having too many songs in there to choose from because it can be a bit overwhelming if you've got like a hundred songs in your repertoire book i tend to keep like 20 songs that i'm kind of feeling i'm enjoying playing at the moment that i want to keep fresh i quite often get asked to play at parties or whatever and it's one of those things it's like what's your favorite song it's like oh i don't know what songs can you play on the guitar i, don't, I, I can never remember them so having a little list of, of, of some cool songs that i can go yeah i can play this song or this song how about that one you know and again having the sheets around for me if i'm playing with other people that maybe beginners or whatever i've i've kept a bunch of the songs fairly simple that i can do some fancy pants stuff on but it's still nice and simple for anyone else who happens to be joining along as well so see if you can create your own repertoire book keep a note of what the songs are again we've got a, a repertoire book songbook section on the website so if you've signed into your dashboard you can save them there if you happen to be using my beginner song course app there's a playlist there where you can save your songs into the playlist as well all of these things are effective and, and fun it just depends on kind of you know what version you're most likely to have with you when you might be playing with other people.